Hi, this is Matt from Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're looking at D16's awesome flagship synth, Lush 2. Let's have a look at it. Lush 2 is D16's flagship synth. And anybody who knows me will know that I'm a massive D16 fan. Everything they do is absolutely superb. So clearly I have very high hopes for Lush 2. Now Lush 2 is a multi-timbral eight layer synth. So you can see at the top here, each of the eight layers that you select by clicking this button here. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, I have a door, so I, why do I really need my multi-timbral synth? My door does that itself. And that's a very good point. And the best way to answer that is to say that when you're creating a preset in Lush 2, well, obviously you can do whatever you want, but what I found the best presets, the best sounds for it are the ones that have multiple layers that you always want to sound simultaneously if that makes sense. So in a moment, we'll try and create something and that will be, a, let's say a kick and a bass and an up or something like that. But the best sounds I found, I'm just giving a demonstration on one now, just so you know what I'm talking about. Let's go pick one. I have a few marked as favorites, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, but I just want to give an example for one now. Let's try this one. Now if we close out of here, listen to the sound. We can hear that there are two sounds playing simultaneously. You got the plucky thing and then the little buzzy layer on top. So if we just enable one layer, that's the pluck, or we can just enable just the buzzy little thing. And simultaneously, they sound like that. So those sounds are designed to be used always together. So by keeping it self-contained within Lush 2, then you only ever need to fire up that one preset. It really is a huge workflow improvement. So as I said, let's try and create something, just something basic, just very quickly before I demonstrate some of the presets. So let's click on init. Just a basic saw here. I'm not going to do any sound design. I'm going to use the presets. So in layer one, let's go to, I'm going to use the excellent browser. So let's click on drums and let's pick hard kick. Let's start with that. Number two, let's go with two. Let's just put this on C3 and we'll put it on legato. Let's add another MIDI track. Let's go up to here. And in the MIDI channel setup, we have the, the layer setup. So layer one, so let's put that on like so. Then on this new MIDI channel that we created, let's just put this on every quarter like so. And then we're going to send it to Lush and then on MIDI port one. There we go. Let's go to layer two now. And this time we're going to once again do drums and we will choose a hi-hat. Let's do that one. So hi-hat four, we'll chosen that one and we'll duplicate this. And then we'll send this one to layer two, to MIDI channel input layer two. So you can start to hear how it's possible to build an entire track should you wish within Lush. But let's go over to Mixer because I think that the hat is a bit too loud. Let's turn the level down. And let's give that a bit of reverb. Turn it on, obviously. Let's put this in, let's go room one. Cool. And then just while we're here, let's go to layer three. And on this one, I just want to add maybe like a little up thing just to finish it off. Thank <laughs> you. 
Also, any good, I can't decide which one. There we go, let's choose that one. Baseline 17. Duplicate. Let's put this there. This one needs to go to layer 3. Baseline a bit of delay, just because we can, and a bit of chorus also. And the chorus, fat sound, sounds interesting. Really cool. So super easy to create a full track in it, or an eight, eight layer track, should you wish. But as I said at the start, I think where it really shines is the type of patches that have multi layers that you always want to play simultaneously. So let's listen to a few examples of those. I've marked a few here as favorites, and I really had to restrain myself because there are hundreds and hundreds of presets here. And then these are global presets, or basically what I like to call ensembles, for want of a better term. But then in the individual layers, there are thousands of individual sounds that can be used in each of the layers to create what I just called an ensemble. But let's go to the global presets, like I said. So once again, you can hear the individual layers in this. But obviously it's designed to work all as one batch. And if you were to do that via a door, you'd have to load up three tracks, you'd load three synths, you need to get the levels right, you need to mix them. Whereas last you just do it all in the one synth, you adjust the levels in the mixer, and then you're done. Saved and it's ready to load in every project afterwards. So simple. Some of them are just huge, like that. And so 80s.
remember this is just one synth and one patch playing. Entire track just from one key. Love it. This is one of my favorites. Obviously Blade Runner vibe in spades. Massive. So here we have a good example of a split keyboard arrangement. So the lower octaves play that bit of rhythm, then the upper octaves play this. Full minimal techno track. Again, just from one key. Awesome.
entire track. I think this is my favourite one. Really, really like that one. So once again, another split keyboard. We have the rhythm going down in the lower octaves. Then we have the high pitch kind of sparkly thing in the higher octaves. So in the higher octaves we have this. Love it. And a few more. And the final one which is a massive bass. So download the demo and see if it's for you, and if it is, then head over to Audio Plugin Deals where it's currently heavily discounted. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you soon with something else. See you then, bye.